very good morning and good evening to everyone who've joined us. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Signet Infotech webinar. I am Vedihi Parve, your host for this one hour session on why smart e-signatures are the last mile of digital transformation. At any given point, if you have any questions or you are unable to see me or the speakers, please use the chat window at the bottom right side of your dialog box and insert your queries there. Just for the starters, if you can comment in the dialog box that you can hear me well and see the speakers and the screen. Okay, we have answers coming in from everybody. Thank you so much. Let's get started. I do want to mention that we do have a dedicated 15 minute Q&A session at the end of the webinar where you can directly address your queries to the speakers. But still, if you have any questions, you can use this dialog box and clarify anything that you need to. Getting started with our webinar, I would like to introduce you uh, to more of the topic that we are talking about today. Uh, after the COVID surge, organizations uh, were increasingly facing the need to update their business processes to align with modern expectations. Digital transformation priorities uh, were shifting towards customer experience improvements. The customer experience strategy was shifting and looking for technologies that could support the rapid digitization of customer facing processes and interactions. The role of technology, however, kept changing and adapting as new problems arise that need to be solved. Today, serving customers without heavily relying on digital channels for core business processes, including customer onboarding service and support, is no longer possible even for minute conservative business. Customer expectation these days is a digital and a frictionless journey all around the world. In view of this, in order to rise to the challenge of digital transformation, e-signature is undoubtedly an extremely important technology for both redesigning processes and for offering a positive user experience. The, techni the technological solutions for e-signing are able to fully meet both the organizational requirements and the user experience ones, while being fully complying with the required regulatory legislation. As we go ahead, I welcome our first speaker for the session, Yogesh Lokhande, Vice President Products and Business Head at Signature Signet Infotech. He is a software product leader with more than 20 years of experience in consulting organizations for IT, education, and innovation. He's currently engaged in designing electronic signature solution to support organizations in their digital transformation initiatives. Very warm, warm welcome to you, Yogesh. It's a pleasure to have you today. Uh, you are on mute. Hi, Vedi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, going ahead, we also have uh, Josefa Kapadia, who is the deputy manager at Signet Infotech. He is he has joined us today as the moderator. He believes in helping Fortune 500 enterprises in their automation and cloud journeys. Uh, so, welcome, Josefa. I now request you to take the stage. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Vedi. Um, so I'd I like to start with um, introducing Signet, uh, Signet Infotech. Um, Signet Infotech was uh, founded in the year 2000, approximately more than two decades uh, ago. And it is headquartered in the Manchester of India, that is Ahmedabad. We are currently present in 11 locations um, across countries like um, India, obviously, then Australia, South Africa, Middle East, um, Germany, UK, and the United States of America. And we are serving more than 35 countries from these locations. A range of services include um, IT services and consulting and uh, product engineering. And I would like to say that we have a lot of experience and extensive experience when it comes to product engineering. We, we started as a tech technology company and we have extensive experience in those uh, areas. Other than Signature that uh, uh, the webinar is based upon today, that is one of the product of Signature, we have another five uh, products um, that, that falls under the umbrella of Signet Infotech. And um, I'll just like to name a couple of them. One of them is called Testing Wiz, which is uh, for, for automation in testing. Another one is uh, an automation platform called as Automation Wiz. And there's another one on uh, text technology. Um, 
we are currently partners with uh, Microsoft and SAP and, and uh, many more. Uh, with Microsoft, we are gold partners and with SAP, we are um, silver partners. Mm, we uh, serve across industries like banking, healthcare, insurance, manufacturing, pharma, uh, automobile, oil and energy, media and entertainment, uh, construction, retail, and hospitality, and so on. And, and the list just does not stop there. Um, now I'd like to come to the topic uh, that is for today. And before we get there, so um, now any company, whether it is a small or a large um, size uh, company, at some point they have to go through a digital transformation journey, right? And as we understand, it is a continuous process. A lot of elements and a lot of uh, different processes make this whole um, digital transformation journey. But today we are here to talk about this uh, uh, specific area, which is a part of digital transformation. Um, but I, I believe it is not spoken about in um, openly and in, in large uh, or um, you know in forums. But at the same time, it also forms an integral part of the journey and and that's where i i, I would request um, yogesh um, if you can walk us through this area help us understand how signature makes a difference here yeah, sure uh, good morning and good evening good afternoon to people who are joining in from different parts of the world uh, i'm so happy to come here uh, for this webinar now, Josefa, you have asked me a question about digital transformation and uh, the significance of uh, e-signature within the scope of digital transformation. Now, companies uh, approach digital transformation from various angles. There may be different objectives. There may be different uh, <clears throat> approaches that customers and companies may use. But typically, you know, any effort of digital transformation uh, has a, a wide-ranging impact uh, on the processes of the business, uh, the people involved, uh, the employees, as well as uh, the use of technology becomes a very important factor and uh, driver, especially of the digital transformation. Uh, many companies have a, a goal uh, that kind of drives their digital transformation initiatives. And it may be different for different departments maybe, but overall as a company, they will look at some of the goals that are mentioned here on the slide, like increased productivity or enhanced customer experience, um, all the way up to cost reduction or not just that, but even environmental sustainability. So given this broad range of uh, goals that any digital transformation um, initiative aims to achieve uh, uh, it, it it depends on what kind of solutions you are putting together what kind of business processes you are uh, engaged in uh, to decide whether the electronic signature solution as such plays a role into it now if you really ask me i would say that a transformation exercise is quite different from uh, simple uh, digitization or uh, an automation exercise because digitization would simply convert any manual or paper driven approach to a digital uh, process while an automation may just try to increase the speed or automate some of the manual tasks or connect different tasks within an organization to create an automation however per se they may not be transformative in nature uh, a transformation or a digital transformation is in the real sense a digital transformation only if uh, it really changes the way the customer is interacting with you or completely changes the way uh, you are interacting with your customer in terms of your product offerings or services and trying to change the experience the customer has by dealing with your company. So by putting together digital technologies in place if you are able to achieve that kind of change then uh, it's a digital transformation 
and yes electronic signature solutions do play a major role or at least one of the important it's one of the important pillars of any digital transformation exercise because we are living in a VUCA world we all know there is a war going on in ukraine uh, we have just come out of pandemic, but we don't know whether there is another wave waiting for us. Uh, the amount of complexity that's there in, uh, in terms of the global economy or the movements or the effect of uh, the COVID on the supply chain that has happened in terms of manufacturing, logistics and all are very difficult to kind of pin down and there is no way to predict what's going to happen. So what options do companies have um, in such a world is to ensure that they have their processes built more robust or their business continuity is ensured they are still able to do business despite all the challenges that are there in the world so digital transformation exercises should aim to address some of these challenges uh, to keep the business moving smoothly uh, despite all the hurdles and challenges. So what are the other things which are happening? For example, uh, there are these initiatives obviously which are triggered by the pandemic. But apart from that, even government is uh, digitizing a lot. Uh, in most countries, the governments are uh, coming out with stringent regulations as well as bringing in a lot of monitoring driven by technology uh, to be able to track not only things like taxation and all but also business processes uh, as a company because uh, of the digital nature of the data and confidential information they have uh, as it gets exposed on the internet uh, it creates opportunities for fraudsters and all to hack into systems and all so one of the very important requirements of whatever uh, digital transformation exercises companies are doing is the requirement of having extremely high security solutions in place uh, the ability to uh, monitor them the ability to prevent uh, fraudsters to access confidential data of the company uh, and also to be able to provide good service at the same time so coming to electronic signatures per se if you see most of the businesses run based on agreements between different companies. So no deal is complete unless you sign on the dotted line as they say. So only based on the agreements between companies, uh, business really happens or takes place. Movements of goods, manufacturing, orders, uh, deliveries, everything is dependent on some kind of understanding between different companies so having that agreement in place is one of the key requirements for business to keep flowing you can't really start something i'm just stating the obvious uh, but that's where the challenges come in you know when people move online and uh, try to implement digital signature solutions then things like security or authenticity timeliness and all these things become extremely important so let's take these one by one uh, security we've just spoken a little bit about it's very important because some of the contracts are high value contracts maybe contain important information that if leaked to competitors may damage the company's business so it's important to have secure uh, signing process in terms of authenticity it's very important to get the signatures from a person who is the right person to sign it. He needs to be authenticated uh, before he signs the document. It should not be available to anybody else. Timeliness, obviously, because you can't uh, wait for a long time to sign a contract. In terms of uh, the regular process, if you really look at it, people still do the email way for signing contracts. So some of these manual processes can be automated through a digital channel legality plays a very important role in this because if you are signing a contract uh, let's say across borders and all so the signatures need to be legally acceptable legally valid and 
they need to be accepted in case there is a dispute and the contract comes into question then the legality of the signatures are the most important thing in a court of law finally the ability to store these documents online so that they can be retrieved at the right time by the right people and this kind of facility is important so these are some of the challenges uh, that uh, electronic or a digital signature solution aims to address and here with signet we have a solution called signature which is a SaaS solution it's a browser based application which can be accessed by people from anywhere and can be used for uh, signing their documents in a workflow and it provides all the uh, important ingredients that can go into a digital transformation exercise can support that initiative uh, because you know in a digital transformation or in an organization using different tools for their own purpose like dms or crm or workflow engines uh, it's very important to also build in an ability to sign the documents and also uh, ensure that all the challenges that we talked about in the previous slide are also addressed so signature is a solution that uh, gives you the ability to authenticate the signers sign the documents with different signature types as well as store the documents and protect them in a way that can be verified uh, very securely so one of the key uh, uh, components in signature is the audit trail that we are storing on blockchain so blockchain is the technology that gives you that assurance uh, that whatever gets stored in blockchain cannot be uh, tampered with cannot be changed or modified and it's extremely secure so you can be rest assured if a document is signed on signature it cannot be tampered with because if you can verify that document there then it's definitely going to be genuine so given this background let's try to understand what are the other features that we are offering in signature and how it can help you in uh, your processes automating that or digitizing uh, your signature process so one of the key offerings that we have is a different range of signature types as you can see we support electronic signatures you can use digital signatures as well as ability to capture biometrics like a facial recognition or uh, thumbprint or uh, an iris scan so depending on uh, where you are doing the signatures and what kind of use case we have you can use different signature types uh, typically i would recommend that for uh, contractual obligations and signing legally binding contracts you must use a digital signature while you can uh, go quite fine with using electronic signatures for internal approvals or uh, recording the movement of uh, documents within the organization and its approvals and uh, authorizations uh, we also support national ids for a few countries for example other uefa Oman, ikea and so on so those give an additional way to sign the documents which are very relevant for that particular country accepted by the law there's also a component of graphometric signatures uh, which we are building which can help you to really digitally verify the signatures signed on a uh, digital tablet so these are the different types and all of them are available for you to use in a single platform that's quite a unique offering that we have here uh, moving forward, uh, as I'm sure if you're aware, the process of signing is quite simple. You receive the link to sign on an email. Uh, you authenticate yourself and uh, then proceed to sign and put your signatures. So given that, uh, we will also give you a demonstration of uh, this process during this webinar. Uh, we also have uh, a feature called live signature wherein the entire process can be done on a video call and the signers can come on the online uh, they can share their screen sign the document and the entire recording of this process is stored in the system for your future reference so that's like you can uh, create a signing ceremony uh, on a video uh, call so even if the signers are located remotely uh, you can simulate some kind of a in-person signing because you know signing is quite a personal 
uh, event and except for the handshake maybe you can do everything here online so using the slide signature uh, yeah i would like to talk a little bit about blockchain here because uh, that's one of the key component uh, in any signature process there are three uh, important requirements there should be an integrity of the document which means the document should not be changed after signing there must be non-repudiation which means the signer cannot claim that he has never signed the document there must be a way to prove that the person has actually signed the document and there must be authentication which means before signing the person must be authenticated that he is the right person who is signing if these three requirements are fulfilled your digital signature solution is perfect uh, as a solution so here we are also recording the uh, transactions in a blockchain as a hash as you can see on the screen we have the original document hash the blockchain hash and the signed document hash so given these three things for every transaction uh, we can verify uh, after signing that a particular document was actually signed on this system let's see how that works uh, okay, it's a small diagram maybe you can understand this by first uh, focusing on the top like you have the signer who uploads the document signs the document and that creates a hash function uh, the hash is then created and generated uh, uh, as a part of the smart contract entered into the blockchain network as a verifier in future if you wish to verify this you upload the digitally signed document now during this process that also uh, creates a hash function and then it is compared with the original hash and if both the hashes match it means the document is genuine there is no change no tampering because even if you put a single full stop or remove a single zero from your contract that will change the hash completely and it will not match with what is stored so using this process uh, you can be extremely confident that any document that is stored and signed on signature using this blockchain can be compared can be verified for its authenticity and genuineness so yeah so far i mean Hajipa, do you have any questions or do you see any from the audience ask any questions do you want to add something um well one thing that clicked my mind really was um, when when you spoke about life signature life um, signing a document uh, and, and and one um i would say uh event popped into my mind which would have been really useful specifically during the pandemic was when people were not able to meet and if someone was really wanting to marry at that point of time <laughs> i think uh, the neither the bride or a groom had a way to say no i was not present there <laughs> and and uh, you uh, spoke about uh, blockchain right so we, we um, understand that you know blockchain forms an integral process of digital signing on signature and and then that explains typically how the concerns around the security of the document uh, while it makes it tamper proof that is possible uh, with the use of blockchain now uh, any any typical use case um, that you would like to speak about where blockchain might have addressed a pain area any concern um, people might have come with and blockchain addressed that yeah sure i think that's a good question uh, and we should definitely talk about use cases and let me then move on so in terms of use cases there are many use cases for electronic signing and it's come as we spoke about earlier the most important thing is to sign your contracts with businesses customers and vendors and typically the wet signing takes a long time uh, if you really look at online uh, the traditional way to sign you create your contract you take a printout you put your signature on it then you scan that and then attach that scan uh, document in an email send it to the other party the other party downloads it you know takes a printout again puts their signature and then again scans it and sends it back and that is what is considered as a fully signed document so typically uh, even if you uh, consider follow-ups and uh, you know reminders personal reminders or email and all it could take anywhere between five to seven days to get a particular contract signed 
and sometimes in case uh, you know companies require to physically courier the documents uh, to the other party then it may take even more time so in in you know situations where uh, you are in lockdown or uh, the courier service is not available and all uh, you get stuck and therefore if you are using some kind of online uh, digital signature solution then everything can be done online and uh, the system itself can send out the document for signing can send out reminders can also retrieve the signed document back and store it in your repository so all these things can really transform that experience of signing contracts you know the, uh, in my experience i've seen companies reducing their uh, uh, contract signing time from maybe five days to under 30 minutes and uh, even if it's like one business day it's actually quite quite a good uh, roi on using uh, signature solution so that's definitely one of the use cases that uh, can critically help a company uh, to improve their process as well as companies who are using a, a contract lifecycle management solution can integrate with uh, signature and can initiate the signing process once all the back and forth has happened on the contract and then send it for signing so that's one. Second, I would like to talk about internal approvals, which is an important use case for any organization. So uh, there are always many projects uh, going on and uh, within the organization and there are budgets uh, given for certain tasks and there are approval hierarchies defined uh, within large organizations to approve certain projects. You know. And it's very important to track them and keep a a record of such approvals for you know audits uh, could be project audits or uh, maybe external audits also so if you have a system that can help you to get this done uh, seamlessly uh, it's a very very good tool to invest in so i would say e-sign solution for internal approvals can play a very big role to seamlessly uh, provide approvals and uh, keep a record and audit trail for uh, compliance uh, so that's the second use case and the third use case i was going to refer was a bulk signing so in many cases you know organizations create a large volume of documents could be invoices could be purchase orders or delivery chalans and so on so these need to be signed and uh, then sent to the customers uh, vendors so in this case uh, it helps to have some kind of a solution that can uh, sign a large volume of documents automatically uh, without having to engage one person to especially you know an authorized signatory is quite a busy person he can't spend his whole day in just signing documents so can we not automate that that was the idea behind developing a bulk signing solution and uh, this solution really helps uh, in this case that automatically the documents generated from the business system or the ERP can be signed uh, with the relevant authorized signatory and then further sent automatically emailed also to the customers. So that's where we are. Uh, hope these use cases uh, give you some idea on uh, possibilities. A, a, a couple of questions I might have here when it comes to internal approvals is there a workflow now let's say a person a has to sign first then the person B and then the person C or if a person a has signed any it can happen in any random order as well so those workflows can be defined yes hundred percent of course uh, the workflows are a part of life and uh, there are different types of workflows and i will show you in the demonstration of the solution uh, that we can actually set up different workflows and uh, then send the document accordingly to that so maybe it's time for a demo what do you say sure i'm game yeah, yeah. so i think the demo will help uh, clarify some of the things or actually show showcase so, okay let me move on So as a sender of the document, you just need to sign in. 
as you sign in obviously you need to authenticate yourself also okay so it's very important to have this two factor authentication for you to uh, log into the system once you log in you can see a neat dashboard here as you can see uh, we have um, the number of documents waiting for me to sign number of documents waiting for others to sign completed documents and you can maybe click on this tile and further go inside the document repository and check out all the documents maybe you can search for documents signed in the past uh using filters here we have all sorts of filters uh sign type work loaded signer names etc okay now we have a contacts and this is the verify part that we talked about we have a calendar or drop sections uh, graphs here now let's upload a file so what i will do is i'll just drag and drop a file and we can i will upload a sample nda so ND is an agreement which is between two people or two companies. Now, if you notice here, we can actually choose the file from Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox. So we have the standard connectors here. And this is the document that I've uploaded. And we will just sign it. So I will send this document to you for signing. I will also be one of the signers. So here you can fill up some metadata, like document name, category. We have some predefined categories, but you can create your own. Uh, description is there you can even add supporting documents and then you can add observers uh, people you want to keep in the cc but the main people who wish to sign should be yeah so let's say i am one of the signers and i need to see if you are there in my list maybe you're not there so i need to add your email here please let me know your email id is it just first name dot last name that's right yeah okay is this correct yeah okay fine so i save a new contact and yeah the question you are asking see if we have parallel order by default so two people can sign at any time but if i wish that first ujipa should sign and then you give so i can go to sequential and just drag and drop to make a one two three four sequence and you can have multiple people here if you really want a combination of parallel and sequential we have a hybrid order also so if there are multiple people sometimes it happens that some people need to be in sequence some in parallel so you can combine them by just uh, you know creating a combination of yeah like this so you can create a parallel order and then you can have other people in sequence for this demo maybe i can keep it as parallel there are actually additional features optional signing mode like one out of a group of multiple people can sign a document and that's good enough for the process to move forward so that's there we have the ability to import bulk signers also here or create a group of signers Okay. the next steps are very easy you just select the signature type and as i mentioned there are many many signature types available with us so you can pick and choose the ones that you want there is the live signature there's co-signing there's all the national id the biometrics and the electronic and digital signatures let me select just the signature type here then on the document so now we have the document and we can create the signature fields Typically, there is always a position to create signature fields. So you can draw. So that's one for me. And we have one for is it for object. So we create the signature fields. Apart from the signature field, we can also create additional fields like initials, name, date, or form fields. We can add a custom date, for example. This agreement is made on you can define. I'll call this as an effective date make it mandatory to enter save so when you when it's your turn to sign this document you'll have to enter this date and then sign this document all right then i click save next and finally there may be some 
final configurations like what should be the expiry date and how many reminders should I send to this person. So these are 10 reminders uh, sent during the last 10 weeks. All right, there are some advanced settings here, but I'm not going to cover them right now in today's uh, webinar. So that's the end of it in terms of sending the document. It's a very simple process. And if you have actually integrated the system within your CRM and all, you don't really need to do any of this. Through the API, you can initiate it directly in a single click. So, Hojipa, I'm going to kind of ask you to share your screen uh, in order to show that uh, the signing process, how it will look from the signer side, how you will receive the email and then send it. Sign it. Sorry. Uh, are you ready to Let me yep. see if I can? Can can you see my screen? Is it visible? Yes. Yes. Yep. So I got this invite. I'll click on review and sign. So I can continue as a guest. Yeah. I can sign up as well. Continue as a guest because as a signer, you don't really need a login and credential. Right. You can just right. sign as a guest. And now you can click on the I agree to the terms and conditions that will come up. And that's loading. The document is loading. Yeah. Okay, here. Right. Yeah. Then click on proceed to sign. The button is there, proceed to sign. Yeah, no, this uh, doc was over there. So now that's the document. You can actually review this document and if everything is okay, you can sign it. If you think something is not uh, proper, you can actually uh, decline to sign. As on the top right, you can see you have a couple of options there, submit, decline, and reassign. You can okay. reassign it to somebody else, or you can decline it, or you can sign and submit. Okay. So shall I put my effective date yep. here? Then we scroll all the way down. Okay, oil up. And I submit. Yep. So, in the background, the application is creating the timestamps, uh, storing this document uh, hash into blockchain. Uh, yeah, that's done. So your signing is done. Uh, you can actually do this entire signing process on a mobile also. So on a mobile device, you can wow. complete this. Uh, maybe if you're sitting on a beach or you're driving uh, in a car and you get a document to sign, you can sign it there. Now, wouldn't that be a good experience? Uh, nobody really has to wait for you to come back to the office and then sign the document. So I got an email as well, certificate of completion. Each signer will get an email with the completion certificate and all. So if you want, I can share the screen and show the rest of the process. Yep. Thanks. Uh, you're able to see my screen now? Yes. Okay. So here, as we can see, the two people have signed. We are able to see uh, the signed document I can open from here. I can just download it. Look at it. Uh, is my screen visible or not yet? Yes, it is visible. I can see it. All right, yeah. So that's the document, and we have put the signatures there. Let's get back to signature. And yes, certificate is the more, one of the important things that we need to see. Uh, you will notice that the application has captured the IP address, uh, which browser I'm using, what device I'm using, and even my lifelong so where I'm located is also captured uh, in the system. And because you did not share your location, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I kept on block the location. Yes. So timestamp etc. is there. So in case there is a dispute in future, then this is the certificate that can actually be. Uh, can save you in the court of law, right? 
And if somebody really wants to go and check in the blockchain and compare the hashes and also we have the hashes also available here, this can be verified. So this is the process. There is a QR code also which can be scanned and you can go back to the online document. So all in all, the application gives you many, many things uh, to help in signing your documents in a workflow as well as uh, storing the signed documents in this central repository and uh, giving you that assurance, uh, ease of use for the customers. Okay, let's now get back to uh, our presentation and maybe see if we have something more out there. Okay, yeah. So, of course, the system can be integrated with your uh, key business systems. I mentioned this earlier also. If you have a CRM system or a DMS system, uh, you integrate that with signature REST APIs and initiate a document from that system. And there can be two ways to do that. Either the system can send out emails or the system can simply open the document in a pop-up window and uh, the signers can put their signatures and submit it in just the same place. So yeah, the API documentation can help any API developer to integrate the signature there's also an integration with active directory so that you can authenticate your own users uh, uh, directly in signature uh, they don't need to kind of sign sign in two times and you can uh, authenticate them uh, through your own organizational ID. any questions you have so far on this so uh no i think that's pretty okay. good Fine, so we have some ready to use integrations here uh, within the system. There is an integration with Google Drive, Dropbox, Salesforce, and some of the devices for uh, fingerprint and iris uh, are also available. Uh, I mentioned about bulk signing as one of the use case and we do have this solution also, which can be installed. Uh, and there are connectors available uh, which can connect with your business system or ERP specifically like SAP or Oracle and sign all the documents which are coming out from there in bulk. So it's an extremely efficient system and can really transform the organizational productivity like anything. So is this done with the help of any kind of a bot or something? The bulk signing? Yeah, of course. I mean, there will be some kind of a bot which will keep on looking for new documents, finding out the right signature for them, applying the signature, emailing it to the right customer, and so on. So it keeps on working tirelessly. There's hardly any maintenance required for the system once everything is set up. And this is in-house? And this is in-house, yes. So um, if, if any enterprise or any organization wants a specific bot or, or autom wants to automate something they don't have to go to any third party that can be done in-house absolutely 100%. wonderful so signature as a solution can be used in any industry in any uh, department especially you have work uh, sorry use cases like signing contracts and NDAs in sales and marketing that we have discussed but also there are extremely useful use cases in uh, let's say human resource departments if a company is issuing offer letters or appointment letters to a large number of candidates then instead of doing this process one at a time for one person at a time we can totally automate this with signature and completely eliminate the need for any human intervention the offer letter data or the appointment letter data can be uh, extracted from the HRMS system and then using a template uh, signature can actually uh, mail merge uh, and create individual uh, appointment letters for each candidate as well as email it to that person for signatures. So this entire process can save uh, a human being anywhere between uh, a week to almost a month of uh, effort in an entire year. So that's a big cost saving and extremely important in terms of getting ROI. Obviously, the other use cases are also contributing to uh, the improvement in business processes. All right, so we also have uh, 
a module which uh, is specifically designed for uh, pharma industry uh, to cater to the compliance related to the 21 CFR Part 11. It's an important regulation from FDA. Uh, it's useful for uh, maintaining electronic records, uh, sampling records or QA documentation in a pharma company. Extremely critical work. And uh, our module helps uh, these companies to create uh, a timestamped audit trail uh, and also ensure that the signers are properly authenticated, the documents are controlled uh, with versions and all, and also kept in a safe repository. Uh, sometimes you have additional security uh, features like giving an access code while uh, accessing a document. And many of these things we have developed as per the uh, compliance requirements can be very useful uh, for pharma companies or uh, electronic, uh, sorry, medical equipment manufacturing companies also. Right. So yeah. before, before you get there, just one question. Uh, what you mentioned, I uh, we, we completely understand that signature is industry agnostic, department agnostic, and can be used anywhere. Yeah. Any particular uh, or a specific industry where you think signature proved to be a game changer? Uh, yeah, I mean, we have uh, provided uh, good use cases for the automobile sector and companies which are manufacturing vehicles uh, have uh, really adopted the signature solution for their in-house signing, I have taken it as a, one of the base solutions for digital transformation, having created multiple templates uh, for internal approvals uh moving the process uh, ahead in different departments uh in, including procurement hr operations um, and also legal contract signing so we have some of the big uh, names in uh, automobile manufacturing some of the european companies who are using um, signature for electronic signing thank you thank you sir so uh, in order to kind of wrap up everything and kind of relate this to uh, our philosophy in Signet Infotech is uh, taking a customer from a standalone system to getting their systems connected, being able to talk to each other and eventually uh, making them smart in order to bring out the data uh, or building in AI and so on to uh, bring out the uh, uh, information, insights that can help in faster decision making and also help the users uh, at the lowest level to do their jobs efficiently. So a uh, solution like Signature, which is into electronic signing, can actually help to do that because uh, we are finally transforming the way the signing works at the last mile. Uh, we may have lots of automation at all the places, but finally, if a document needs to be signed and if that process is still manual or takes a long time, then we have not really transformed uh, the process. So that is the way uh, we would like to uh, position signature as uh, one of the key uh, building blocks of any digital transformation strategy. All right, uh, Hojapa, just check if there are any questions from the audience. Uh, what security certifications does Signature have? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, certainly, we have a number of security certifications, uh, including uh, see, as in, uh, we have the ISO certifications for information security, ISO 27001. Uh, we have the VAPT certification, which is the vulnerability and uh, penetration testing uh, so that ensures that uh, any uh, anybody trying to hack into the system is not allowed to do that and we also have uh, SOC 2 type 2 type of certification which uh, is the highest in terms of ensuring customer data protection and privacy 
how long does it take to deploy the automation capability? Yeah, it's quite easy to deploy this. It doesn't take, uh, depending on the scope actually, it can range anywhere between two days to two weeks. Doesn't take long. Can we send reminders for signing a document which is due? 100%, the system can actually uh, schedule the reminders and you can send it. I showed that also in our in the demonstration. I think those are the questions. I don't see any other questions. Whether he uh, do we have any more questions? Hi, Josefa. Yes, we do have. I have redirected to Yogesh, uh, but I think we are good for the time. Oh. Uh, the remaining questions, we uh, answer them and send it directly to the people who have asked it. Sure. Okay, that will be fine. Right. So thank you so much, Yogesh. Thank you so much for the session today. It was indeed uh, uh, insightful, and I, uh, I I I hope it was uh, helpful for all our audiences today. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Vaidhi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yogesh. Thank you so much, Josefa, for joining us and hosting this amazing session. I'm sure everybody who has joined us uh, have learned many many things about e-signature and a lot of uh, insights about our product. Uh, so once again, thanks to everyone who has joined and thank you for making it more interactive with your questions coming in. Hope to meet you all soon. Have a good day.